Hello, Micah. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, give me a little background. Give me a little background, but first, tell my audience who you are. Okay, my name's Michael Cummings. I'm one of the leading uh, quilters in America, primarily an African-American male quilter that is on uh, par with Faith Ringo. And I've shown also internationally, and my quilts are in many quilt books, and the quilts are considered to be art quilts, so that's the category that they fall under. And how I started with this is that I was a painter when I came to New York from Los Angeles, and I found Romare Bearden's work, so I transferred from my interest of painting to doing collage, and that was just working with colored paper and photographs and stuff like that. And then at one point I had to make a banner, I was working with the Department of Cultural Affairs, and we had to make a banner for the Crafts Museum, each staff member, and I never worked with fabric. I didn't know how to work wow. with a sewing machine. I didn't know how to cut fabric. I didn't know anything. And so you actually so got, you were able to actually I made stitch. a banner. I made a banner uh -huh. uh, out of scrap material, and I took it around to friends saying, well, how can I, I had it all pinned up. I didn't know how to sew it. So they <laughs> said, take it to a, a tailor. So a tailor wanted $100 to sell up this scrap, scrap material. So I said, no way. Then I took it to a woman I knew that made clothes, and she wanted to teach me how to use a sewing machine and that looked like a, a complex computer to me so I said no I don't want to do that either so I said well I'm just going to have to learn how to sew it to get it finished so I did a, a, a simple stitch a running stitch they call it and I sewed it all down and then after it was all finished a light came on in my thoughts about how hey this is sort of like making a collage and actually it's called applique in quilting, and it's a French word for peace. And collage is also a French word for peace, but working with paper and art. So it was very similar, and I had to cut the paper and I had to cut the fabric. So I said, well, this is better than painting because the fabrics already come in colors, and I don't have to worry about paint, smells, cleaning brushes. So then I could fold up the fabric and put it under the bed and nobody would see it. So I had to teach myself how to use a sewing machine because mm -hmm. that was a major factor in speeding up the process. Mm -hmm. And so at that point, uh, I was going to the American Craft Museum and talking to the director there as my mentor, Paul Smith, and he kind of advised me and kind of critiqued my early work, which was kind of sloppy. And uh, the rest is history. Okay, okay. Yeah.